Jim, one last thing before we get out of here. A lot of people are sending this in, and there's various sides to the story, obviously. The rumor that Edge is going to be going to AEW, including the rumor that Edge was going to be at Wembley Stadium for AEW, I guess word went around yesterday. Here, I have a report here. This is from the Observer site by Ian Carey. Edge says WWE... Wait a minute, I thought it was Cash and Carey. WWE didn't deny me. I have contract extensions sitting in my inbox. Hall of Famer addressed recent reports regarding his future. Apparently reports came out yesterday that WWE believes Edge is AEW bound after his contract expires at the end of next month. WWE is said to have, quote, declined to meet Edge's request for what it would take for him to re-sign with the company. Edge posted a video on social media on Thursday refuting some of these claims. He stated that he, quote, didn't come at them with some crazy contract and that he has a contract extension offer from WWE sitting in his inbox. Here's a quote. Actually, I have audio. Give me a moment. All right, Jim, here's some audio that Edge posted on his Twitter page. Let's go to this. Morning, everybody. Um, that's how I look in the morning. It's not pretty. Um, but need my coffee for this. So I, I uh, woke up to a bunch of voicemails, texts and everything from actual like friends and family you know, wondering what's going on and concerned and blah, blah, blah. So I just figured I'd, I better address it. Um, there's nothing going on. Um, there's no hard feelings between me and WWE. I love WWE. You know, it's my dream gig. It's uh, all I ever wanted to do. And uh, I didn't come at them with some crazy contract or anything. And they didn't deny me. Um, I have a contract extension sitting in my inbox. Uh, I, I just don't know what to do. Um, you know, the first time I had to retire, it was forced. And this time the choice is in my lap and it's a lot harder, you know, um, you know, WWE gave me that night, Friday night in Toronto, and it was the best night of my career. You know, a lot of people will say you should retire at WrestleMania or this or that, but it's not their career. You know, that, that Friday night was, uh, was really special for me. And I don't know if that can be topped to be perfectly honest. And, and if we think we can, then, then great, but I need to sit with it and I, it, just know that whatever it is that I do, whether it's Percy Jackson, which is coming up soon, um, <laughs> or it's, uh, wrestling or it's sitting in my rocking chair. Um, it's because I'm having fun and having fun at this stage of my life and raising my kids are the two most important things. So hope that clears stuff up. Um, I'm going to go back to my coffee. See you. All right. What are your thoughts on that? You know, it, it, that sounds to me like a guy that's trying to decide whether he wants to retire period or whether he should come back and sign another extension and do another year or two years or whatever the, the term is not, a guy conflicted about whether he wants to jump over to another promotion. And I said uh, on the last show we did, when people were first talking about it, why after 25 years with the WWE, and yes, they would still bring him back and still put him in the Hall of Fame or still do whatever the fuck, or is he in the Hall of Fame already? You know, the, but it would it would harm the relationship, and if he's going to be in the business when you... Yes, if he was a guy hurting for money or just wanting to cash out, he could probably get, you know, $5 million out of Tony Khan for a year or two or whatever. But then he'd have to probably do all of the things that they have those people doing that he might not want to do with his neck or at his age or whatever. And there will be or would be, I would think, some rough feelings between him and the WWE, which he has to know he's going to end up, if nothing else, in business with the WWE for years because of royalties and, and you know, different things that are still going to be open. So I don't, I don't see him said, I'm going to now go revolutionize the industry in one more year of my career with AEW just for a big bunch of money, or whether I'm going to stay with this place that's had my wife for 20 years, had me for 25 years and treated us all very nice. And we have an ongoing relationship where I make a lot of money. 
I, I, we'll see what happens. But I'm, I'm thinking it sounds more like he was being honest. Hey, they want me to renew. I haven't decided whether I'm going to yet, but just because I don't know whether I want to do this for another, whatever the period of that term is, not whether I want to do it here or across the street. A lot of fans are looking at the fact that AEW, of course, like you said, they will throw ridiculous money at anyone. AEW. But here's the, he was just on SmackDown this Friday night. They can't be that stupid in this day and age that they would let a guy have a big high profile celebration and a win if he was not contractually bound to them for more than another fucking six days or whatever. Well, I think they're saying that was the last match of his contract, but not necessarily the end date of his contract. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I've I've also heard it reported that his official end of his cave, he may have fulfilled the number of dates that he agreed to if that were there was a specified number in his contract, but the actual contract doesn't expire until a month or two down the road, or there would be some kind of non-compete. So I don't believe that he could walk into Wembley except as a ticket buyer if he wanted to. But again, with AEW, just to play this out, what fans are talking about, Christian's there, his best friend, and the only thing missing from the end of his career, I guess, in the way that Owens and Zayn have something together all the time would be something with Edge and Christian together. FTR are there. They're very close to Edge. You just know they would love for him to come in. The Hardys are there. When you think about the Hardys, you think about either the Dudleys or Edge and Christian. Well, does do either Edge or Christian now think that they could get what they got out of the Hardys 20 years ago now? No, they couldn't, but I'm just talking about in terms of incentive, whatever incentive well, there yeah, may be. Well, yeah, but it, it, they wouldn't want to do Edge and Christian and the Hardys because they know the shape the Hardys are in, and they probably figure, let's let, you know, memories rule that one. As far as Edge and Christian against, Edge is a baby face and would be a baby face, obviously, in AEW because he shows up as a big name. Christian is right now as a heel. Christian's doing another thing. To have Edge and Christian against FTR, and it, it, again, there's a lot of, Oh, what if matches, but none of them look like they fit perfectly without significant re-racking of what's currently going on that would take a while to do and may not work anyway. And the other thing is, does he want to leave whatever, for the good or for the bad, WWE is and go to a place where, despite what some people want to insist on publicly, because Chris Jericho just put out some more comments about how there's no locker room problems, it's all overblown. <laughs> But go to a place that's disorganized, that has a lot of frustration amongst the talent. There are issues with the booking. There are issues with the TV. There's just issues everywhere. Constant drama. You get to work with your friends. You get a lot of money, but you got to be around all that. Is that the way you want to go out? Or again, like he said, you know, I feel really lucky. I hit a home run in my last ever game at Little League. And I never came back after that. I was like, okay, that's... There you go. It, that was the last, game the, note. last game of the season. Why come back next season? It'll never be better than this. What he just said, I don't care. Unless they do WrestleMania in Toronto, is there a better way for him to end his career than the kind of moment he had in Toronto on SmackDown? Uh, there might not be. And, you know, he may, he may be happy now that he's come back from his forced retirement and done something else and proved that he can do it and contributed. But now... It, he may be feeling, well, you know, I'm kind of fucking around on maybe I might get hurt again. Is that worth it? And I've kind of proved some things, got a few things out of my system, and I'm three years older or whatever it is, and maybe now is the time. And, uh, you know, I I wouldn't argue with that, but I, I can't see, you know, it, it just for the money for a year or a short period of time, him saying, oh, I'll just throw away the goodwill with the WWE and go over here for a couple extra million dollars over the next couple of years. He's going to end up back there anyway. Everybody's going to end up back there. 